Hello everybody, welcome back to Virtual VBS and our Bible Adventures. My name is Naomi and today we're talking about a really important guy, Jesus. We're talking about Jesus' death and resurrection. So if you have a Bible at home, you can open it up and follow along to our story about Jesus. <laughs> sin. What do you guys think sin is? Something that you do bad. Something you do bad, yeah. Um, something you do bad sometimes. Something you do bad sometimes. What do you guys think sin is? Sin is some of the wrong choices we make, and it tears us apart from God. It rips our friendship with Him and makes a mess. This isn't what God wants, so God gave up something precious to fix this big problem. God sent his very own son, Jesus, to live on earth. Let me tell you a little bit about Jesus because he's someone I love very much. Maybe you've heard about Jesus too. Have you guys heard about him before? Yes. Yeah. Have you guys heard about Jesus before? Well, let's talk about him. I know of only one person who didn't have any wrong choices in his heart, Jesus. Jesus never ever did anything wrong. He was perfect. But some leaders didn't believe that. They didn't think that he was a good man. They thought he was a liar. Do you guys think Jesus is a liar? No. No, not at all. They didn't want anyone to believe in him or follow him. So they decided to get rid of Jesus. When the leaders came to get Jesus from the garden where he was praying, all his friends ran away. Jesus' friends weren't bold that day. They were afraid they'd get in trouble for being friends with Jesus. But some of them followed Jesus secretly to see what would happen. Can you guys pretend to sneak around so we can follow Jesus? Can you guys pretend to sneak at home? We're going to follow Jesus to see what happens. That's some pretty good sneaking. Go ahead and have a seat again. We're going to see what happened to Jesus. The leaders took Jesus to a judge named Pilate who told the soldiers to kill Jesus. Jesus didn't stop them. Jesus had the power to heal sick people, make blind people see, and even make the wind stop. Do you think Jesus had the power to stop the guards? Yeah. yeah. I think he did. Yeah. But he didn't stop them. He just let them hurt him. The soldiers took Jesus to the top of the hill. They took a huge nail. They hammered it through his hands into a big piece of wood. Do you guys have a cross at home? Go ahead and grab one. I have one here. If you don't have a cross, maybe you can find some sticks or popsicle sticks or pencils even and hold them in the shape of the cross. This is what Jesus died on. They did the same thing. So they hammered his hands on the sides and they hammered his feet on the bottom. Jesus hung there for a long time. Then he said, it is finished and he died. His friends were so sad. Can you guys show me your saddest faces? Can you guys show me some sad faces? You were so sad that Jesus had died. You can go ahead and put the cross down. Good job. Some of Jesus' friends took his body. They took a long, clean cloth and wrapped Jesus' body in it, and they put Jesus in a tomb. Can you pretend to put Jesus in a tomb? Can you guys pretend to put Jesus in a tomb at home? They put him in a tomb. They put a big stone in front to close it. After that, they went home and they were so sad. They felt powerless and confused. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong ever, and yet he was punished. It just didn't seem fair. Do you guys think that was fair? No. Do you guys think that was fair? I don't think it was very fair. They were sad for three whole days. After three days, Jesus' friends went back to the tomb. It was open. What do you think that's about? Mm -hmm. It was open. They pulled out the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' body. But Jesus wasn't in the tomb anymore. What do you think happened? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Then one of the women came up and said that she had seen Jesus. Jesus was alive! Do you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you believe it? Then they remembered what Jesus had told them. Jesus said that he'd be punished for our wrong choices. When we do something wrong, there's usually a punishment, a consequence. When we sin, the ultimate consequence is separation from God forever. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong, 
He didn't need to be punished for his own choices. He could be with God in heaven. But Jesus loves us so much. He willingly let the soldiers punish him for all the wrong choices that we've made. He died for you and for me. He died for you and for me. We just heard how the story ends. Did he stay dead? No. No, what happened? He rose again. He rose again on Easter morning. Our wrong choices are stuck to the cross now instead of our hearts. We don't hold them anymore. They're all on the cross. Because Jesus was punished for our sins and is alive again, our wrong choices have been taken away. We can be friends with Jesus forever. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus' power beat death on that day for Jesus and today for you and me and for you and me. The Bible promises this, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Good job. And that is our story of Jesus for today. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next week in our last week of our virtual VBS. Goodbye!